Hi, everyone. Welcome to this session of Kaplan's USMLE Step 2 CK Q-Blast. My name is Dr. Matt Alvin. I'm an incoming medical intern going into radiology. Let's get started on our way to get that higher score on test day. With this question today, we have a 68-year-old man complaining of headache, dizziness, blurred vision, and fatigue. Notice that I bolded in there headache and blurred vision. Dizziness and fatigue, very common complaints, could be a variety of things. But when you have headache and you have blurred vision, that helps us to narrow that differential more. So on exam, he appears plethoric. What does that mean, plethoric? That means very swelled up, very swollen in the face. Ophthalmoscopic exam, you've got your fundoscope, you're looking at these guys' retina, at this guy's retinas, shows what? Engorged retinal veins. So plethoric, blurred vision, engorged retinal veins, and headache. And then we have a palpable spleen, three centimeters below the left costal margin. Is it normal to palpate the spleen? Absolutely not. We know something wrong is going on with this guy. So we got a CBC. It shows us a hematocrit of 56%. Everybody should know that that's elevated, really high. Normal red cell morphology, but an increased red cell mass. And then not only do we have all this stuff going on with the RBCs, we've got an increased white count of 16,000. We've got more basophils and eosinophils, and the platelets are really high at 700,000. So we've got red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets all up, and this guy with the retinal veins being big, plethoric, blurred vision. But the question's not asking what's the disease. On step 2 CK, you have to think more than just what the diagnosis is. This question is, which of the following is the major cause of morbidity and death in this illness? So if you guys know what this is, that's great, but that's not what the question's asking. You want that higher score on test day, you have to know about the disease. What's the major cause of morbidity and death? Is it bleeding, heart failure, opportunistic infection, renal failure, or thrombosis? Take a few moments and select what you think is the best answer. Okay, great. Correct answer here is choice E, thrombosis. What's the diagnosis? Polycythemia vera. That's the first step. Did you know that it was PV? If you did, from all the patient presentation, then it's simply asking yourself, what causes the most morbidity and death? Thrombosis. So what is PV? So it's an acquired myeloproliferative disorder that causes overproduction of all three cell lines. That's why we have high RBCs with the hematocrit, high white blood cells, and high platelets, as seen in this question stem. But then we deal with primary polycythemia vera and just secondary polycythemia. If we have PV, then the RBC production is actually independent of EPO. We know that EPO, okay, which is made from the kidneys, is going to increase RBCs. But in primary PV, that EPO level is actually low. So the RBCs are being made, okay, not dependent upon EPO. It's part of the actual disease itself, as you all know. Secondary polycythemia comes from hypoxia. If you've got an EPO secreting tumor, those are going to have the high serum EPO levels. But it's a big takeaway from this because you might have a question where it says whether or not you have a low or a high EPO. So, some key points. This patient presented with symptoms that all deal with hyperviscosity. So, hyperviscosity meaning we have tons of red blood cells. The blood is really clogged up with a lot of cells, a lot of platelets. So, because of that, we get a headache, blurred vision, fatigue, dizziness, all do that hyperviscosity. What do you see in physical exam? Exactly what we see in this patient. The plethora, the spleomegaly, the engorged retinal veins. This is a classic presentation here. And on labs, you're going to see that high hematocrit, and all of those other cell lines are going to be increased. And simply knowing that if we have all this blood, a lot more stuff in the blood, that can stagnate and clot, cause thrombosis, which is why it's the major complication here. What are you going to do for this guy? Treatment of choice, phlebotomy. So, for our recap today, polycythemia vera, or PV, it's a myeloproliferative disorder. All three blood cell lines are increased, especially the red cells. You see that hematocrit greater than 50, 60 percent? You got to be thinking PV. Hyperviscosity of the blood, that's why you're going to see all those symptoms, that enlarged spleen, the blurred vision. What does it lead to? Thrombosis, morbidity, mortality, something you have to be aware of as the student and as the physician later in your career. Great job today for Kaplan's USMLE Step 2 CK Q-Blast. My name is Dr. Matt Alvin. 
Great to be with you here today. Good luck with studying and I'll see you next time.